Well, after she was killed, you know, there was a lot of talk of different types of shows. At one point, HBO announced that they were actually doing a, you know, series about her that was going to star Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez, she was also the executive producer. Right. Well, was scheduled to be the executive producer. Didn't you threaten to sue over this situation? Okay, so like, TMZ had contacted me. Uh, this lady named Erica uh, Goldman or Goldberg, I don't remember her last name. So she contacted me. And she said, you know, I want your take on uh, Jennifer Lopez starring as, as Griselda Blanco in this HBO series. So I did an uh, a in-depth in interview uh, with TMZ. Uh, so she said, well, what do you, how do you feel about her playing Griselda? And so I said, you know what? I said, I'm all for it. I think she's a good actress. But I don't want to be involved. You know, I got my own film that I'm, I'm preparing, so I don't want to be involved. And if HBO does include me in any way, I will sue. So it wasn't that I was going to sue Jennifer Lopez, but I was more or less talking about HBO. Right. And, and that series never came out. It never came out. Right. Never came out. Uh, but then uh, there was a Lifetime biopic called The Cocaine Godmother that Catherine Zeta-Jones played yes. for Zelda. Yes, and it flopped. It flopped. I didn't even hear about it until yeah, I researched it, it, it. It flopped. It flopped. You watched it? No, 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 no. Okay. It was that bad. Yeah. I, okay. I, 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 never, I never saw it. Right. And then that brings us to today where Netflix had the Griselda series starring Sofia Vergara. And everyone's talking about this right now. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's a big movement. You watch it? Uh, To be honest with you, okay, so... I really haven't watched TV since 2014. Okay. Uh, but I did catch it. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a fictional portrayal. Okay. You know, even the producer said that. It was a fictional portrayal. Okay. But it was put together very well. Yeah, it was a hell of a series. Yeah. It was, it was, it was I mean, very it well was, done, very well written, a lot of drama, no, a lot of great acting. No mistake about it. Yeah. You know? Sophia I mean, it, killed it. it, 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 it made, she, she's going to get awards over this. Oh, yeah. It made the noise that 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 you would expect it to. Right. I mean, it made a lot of noise. Yeah. You know, I mean, even at the airports, I saw, you know, promos for it at the airport, you mm -hmm. know, Griselda Blanco, suitcases full of false money, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, it did what it was supposed to do, you know. So, and I'm, I'm happy it succeeded because when those other projects are successful, my projects are going to be even more successful. Right. Well, isn't Michael Corleone suing Netflix over this, yeah. over his portrayal? From my understanding, he is, yes. Okay. And we'll, we'll see what comes of that. I mean, biopics are kind of weird, where it's like, you don't necessarily have to have, you don't have to pay people to be in a biopic if someone is involved who actually knew those people and are just telling them the portrayal. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, if I do a Vlad TV biopic and I talk about an interview with you, we don't necessarily have to pay you to be in it. I could just say, it, it, exactly, this is how the exactly, interview went, it, exactly, and here's the exactly. actor portraying you, and it is what it is. Well, hopefully they'll reach a settlement because if they did everything Michael say they did as far as stealing his content, because he sat down for an interview. Oh, okay. Maybe 2016. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, so, so they're using part of his content. Yes. Okay. Yes, according it's to Michael. Than just a, a so story. if they, in fact, did use that content, you know what I'm saying, to create the story, uh, he deserved, you know, a few million dollars. Sure. At the very least. Hey, man, listen. <laughs> you get what you get. Absolutely. And it's a hell of a series, though. Like I gotta oh, oh, say, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. Because we we had been talking about doing this interview for a while, but then when I saw the series, I said, okay, now now I gotta bring him in. <laughs> you, you know, know now was a real reason. The to funny bring thing him in. over it is, Vlad, I didn't know that you've been trying to interview me since January 2008. I had no idea. You know what I'm saying? Because Mafia originally sent uh, his his uh, his initial email. Yeah. And I wasn't following Mafia on Instagram. Hmm. And I happened to follow him, and I, it popped up. Yeah, shout out to Mafia. He's actually right here right now. Oh, he's a good dude. Real, <laughs> real, real, real good dude. I give him his props. Good yep. dude.